What's up guys, this is Michael with Michael Talks Metal, back for another session on some aluminum today. So, for the last few weeks, our subject has mostly been common aluminum alloys. Today, we're going to talk about the 6000 series alloys, where the primary alloying elements are magnesium and silicon. If you did not see our earlier video on the heat treated temper designations, or for a review, click here now. The Aluminum Association, the American industry organization that has established standards, uses a comparative rating system for various properties of aluminum. An A rating is the most favorable, and an E rating is the least. Makes sense. Again, these are comparisons within aluminum alloys. An alloy and temper rated A is superior to one rated B and so on. Selection of the alloy and temper is best left to the design engineers. The popular alloys for our video are 6061, 6063, and 6262. Aluminum chemistry requirements routinely contain a restriction of 0 0.05 maximum each for any unspecified elements and a total of 0.15 percent maximum which applies to all these alloys up first on the docket 6061 uns a96061 is an alloy of 0 0.40 to 0 0.80 silicon 0 0.70 maximum iron 0.15 to 0 0.40 copper 0.15 percent max max manganese 0 0.8 to 0.1 0.2 magnesium, 0.15% max chromium, 0.25% max zinc, and a maximum of 0.15% titanium. The T4 tempers are rated C for machining and B for general corrosion and stress corrosion. The T6 tempers rate A for stress corrosion applications. This alloy is rated A for welding, and also it anodizes well. Common applications are found in almost all industries due to its combination of strength, corrosion resistance, fabricability, and wide availability. Up next, 6063, UNS A96063 is alloyed with 0.2 to 0.6% silicon, 0.35% max iron, 0.10 max copper, 0.10 max manganese, 0.45 to 0.9% magnesium, 0 0.10 max chromium, 0 0.10 max zinc, and 0 0.10 max titanium. Most common tempers are T5 and T6. Rated A in all tempers for general and stress corrosion performance, T4 is rated D for machinability, and numerically higher tempers are rated C. Most common for architectural applications in furniture and in other extruded configurations. Rated A for weldability, and the alloy also anodizes well. Last up, 6262 UNS A9-6262 is an alloy of 0.4 to 0.8% silicon, 0.7 max iron, 0.15 to 0.40 copper, 0.15 max manganese, 0.8 to 1.2 magnesium, 0.04 to 0.14 chromium, 0.25% max zinc, and 0.15% max titanium. If this reminds you of 6061, well, you're right. It's almost identical. But now we add 0.4 to 0.7% each of lead and bismuth to aid in machining characteristics. T6 and variants and T9 are the most commonly available tempers. Rated B in all tempers for general corrosion, and A for stress corrosion, rated B for machinability, and A for weldability. Most common application is for screw machine parts. A note about 6061T6. Commercial specifications often allow for a rapid cool from hot working temperatures as the solution treatment. Aerospace applications typically require that the solution treatment is performed by furnace heating, which adds to the cost of manufacture at the mill.
Commercial applications generally specify ASTM standards. Aerospace applications utilize AMS standards or the defense and federal standards. As always, there are detailed requirements within the full temper designation and any specifications that can require specific products and processing. So we caution you to carefully, very carefully check the specs. And so thanks for watching. Appreciate you guys tuning in. This is Michael with Michael Talks Metal. If you happen to miss any of the previous videos and you want to catch up, they're right here. If you have made it this far and haven't subscribed, please consider right here. Thank you so much for watching. This is Michael with Michael Talks Metal. See you guys next Thursday. I'm out.